Did your iRobot stop working? Well, my Roomba is really dirty and it needs to be fixed, so today I'm going to show you how. Welcome to Adulting Life 101. My name is Adam, and today we are going to fix uh, the Roomba. This is the i8, and it stopped working. I'm not really sure why. I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to replace a couple parts. I'm going to clean it up. Uh, empty it, but I thought I would show you guys how to do it. So follow with me and we're gonna get started. All right guys, these are the things we're gonna use to fix uh, the Roomba. I'm gonna just use a screwdriver. That's all you need is a regular Phillips head screwdriver. And this is the iRobot here, it's the i8 edition. I see how dirty and gross it is, it's really nasty. And then I got the tower here. I'm gonna show you how to replace the bag and we're gonna see if we need to replace any other parts. All right, so first things first, we're gonna check the bag, see if we need to change that. So the bag is here at the top. You just pop the lid open. <clears throat> it's got instructions of how to take the bag in and out. It's pretty easy. So it just slides in like this. And let's see. Oh yeah, we need to replace this, it's pretty heavy. So we're gonna throw that away. Get a replacement bag here. And slide it on in here. There we go. So it latches in and you just push it down. Tuck the bag in and close it up. We're good to go. Next step, guys, we're gonna turn the Roomba or the iRobot upside down. And this is where we get to all the different parts as far as the different chambers and different things to fix it. I'm gonna show you each one individually as I clean it out. All right, we're gonna start with the back of the Roomba. Now this is the storage container where it keeps all the dirt that sucks in from the floor. And to empty this, there's just a little latch. So there's a little button right here on the side. You push that and it pops right out so this pops out not much in it but to get a secondary release there's another button right here you want to empty it you push this and it opens the lid up so now you can oh there's a screw in there so now you can get to all the trash and stuff inside we're going to go ahead and empty that now this is the spot guys where you also change the filter the filter on this one is looking a little rough it's pretty gross so we're going to go ahead and change that out today so we got our new filter right here, it comes in a bag. When you order this, it comes with two filters. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna close this latch first. I'm gonna take the filter out, just pops right out, if I can get it. Oof, oh, that is, that's pretty dirty. I would say that's pretty dirty. Give it a quick blow it out. Now what you do is you just put the new filter on. So see how it lines up with the grooves right there? Put the new filter in, it just pops right in. Good to go. Now we're gonna put this back on. So what we're gonna do is green part face down, little notch right here, goes in, clicks into place, you're good to go. Now, let's look into the wheels. The wheels have their own little latch. It's right here, this little green lever, and it lifts these up, and you pull the tracks out like that. Now, these ones are pretty dirty. I'm gonna go ahead and clean them out. You got like. I have a dog, so it's got dog hair. You wanna make sure the chamber is clean. It's pretty clean. And then we're gonna reinstall them back. This little plastic part right here, this gray plastic part, and there's a little groove right there. It always goes on that side and this side slides in. There we go, okay, let's we'll snap it back. So that's good. So we check the wheels, make sure there's no debris, anything gross on them. They're working. Okay, next thing is we could replace this with a screwdriver. I looked, we don't really need to. These are the brushes that pull all the dirt into it. Here is the floor sensor that's aware of if there's water on the floor or something like that and everything else. And that's pretty much it guys. It's really that simple. You gotta make sure the wheel here is clear of debris. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and clean up the top. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and spray off the top, clean it up. It looks nice because it has a digital, it has a camera up top. You gotta be careful. It has a camera that detects where it is in the room because you have a map on your phone. Now to have one of these, you have to have a smartphone. You can't avoid that. Get it nice and clean. Let's make sure we get these grooves really good. Nope, don't go anywhere. Likes to have a mind of its own. Let's spray it around one more time. Spray it on the towel. It's easier if you do it on the towel. 
clean up the front. And the good thing is when you do this, guys, it really is able to see a lot better. So we got that clean. It's nice and shiny now, which is a good thing. It's going to be good to go. Let's clean up the tower. As you can see, the tower gets pretty gross. This is where it sucks in all the debris once it goes back on the docking station. And a lot of times it gets really nasty right here. So it's good to clean it off every now and again. Keep the nodes and everything, the battery nodes, which are these right here. Keep them really clean because then it charges really well. A lot of times Roombas will lose charge. Um, not because there's something wrong with the device, it's just because the nodes are really dirty and they're like corroded or whatever. But if you keep it really clean, then you won't run into a problem. What we're gonna do is we're gonna clean the tower real quick. This thing gets, for some reason, the tower gets like super gross all the time. I'm not really sure why. I mean, I know it's a vacuum, but it just gets really nasty. So, okay, let's go ahead and put it back on the ground. So all you have to do is go ahead and put the base back down, plug it in the wall, we put the freshly clean room back on it. You should hear a sound. There we go. When you hear that little ding, that means it's ready to go and it's charging. The white light means it's charging. All right, so when the lights are fully on like this, that means it's good to go. Look how clean and shiny it is, guys. Got everything good to go and clean. All right, so it looks like we're ready and good to go. Thank you for joining me on how to clean and fix your Roomba today, or your R, or I8, excuse me. If you guys uh, really like this, please leave a comment. I really like to know what you guys think of these videos and the fact that I want some ideas for new videos. Subscribe and like this video. Thanks everyone.